Hi folks, uh, welcome to Code Shack. And today uh, we will be discussing about our pre-launch, uh, the app, the web app that we are we are developing called Code Shack. And Code Shack is uh, a fintech loan app uh, that helps uh, financial institutions or lenders or private lenders or semi-lenders or individual lenders to generate leads, collect application, collect documents, interact with clients and process loan application. It, it's more of like one platform with multiple features. So let's talk about more about, about us and our team. Uh, at this moment, we are currently working uh, just a couple of guys, myself, Raj, uh, uh, working with my co-founder, Tarek, who is a software engineer. I am a finance guy who is more dealing with financial side, and Tarek is a software engineer. He's dealing with the app, building it up, and uh, all the backend and the coding side. So we are a team of innovators. Uh, mixed with experts, bringing together the diverse uh, experience and skills uh, to drive and transform the looks of finance. So it, it's very obvious that our motive is to combine our expertise uh, in finance and technology and AI in a new form to address the challenges faced by the institutions and individuals, bringing something new uh, that would solve some specific problems that are been existed in the credit, mortgage, and different kinds of loans. So let's uh, go ahead. So the challenges that uh, we, uh, we are working on or the challenges that have been faced uh, in the fire, in the credit industry or the mortgage or any kind of loan applications or in the lending side by the finance institution, whether it can be a finance institution or a semi lender or a private lender or an individual. So let's go with the problems and then the outcome. So first, the problem that mostly deals with is like uh, I, I myself have worked in numerous finance institutions and they're the top institute in Canada, like RBC, then I have worked in People Trust. I have seen a lot many times that most of the finance institution, they use multiple platforms, uh, one for lead generation, for where from all the leads or the, the uh, or, uh, or the applications are derived from. And then there is another platform where the applications are created. Then there is another platform where the loan uh, application is being processed. And then the another one is for funding. So it's a combination of multiple platforms. And even, even if someone wants to connect with the lender, sorry, with the, with the applicant or the loanee, then that's a different platform, whether the, the person has to call or they have to email or if they are using the text version, they are texting from a different platform. So it's more or less a combination of different platforms. So a person who is working uh, in the finance institution, they have to juggle around in multiple platforms. So what are the problems that the employee faces or the institution faces while they have multiple platforms? First is the deal generated from multiple platforms. There is resulting maybe garbage lead with less turnover, then leads can be fake, filled with wrong info, wasting time and money. Then leads, those are coming, they might reply on phone calls or they might do not reply phone calls, text or emails. So no reply also means it's a waste of time as well as of money. Then delay in leads follow-up uh, can kill it. Like for example, if a lead came in and the employee is late in, connecting with the lead, like in sending text email or calling that lead, that might uh, kill the lead. So in a, like we know that in a competitive market, 
delay in communication can cause lead to cancel the deal or a change of mind can be possible. Then time consuming in calling leads and creating apps, checking leads, then calling to create apps can be uh, can be very time consuming as leads can be busy. For example, a lead came in and I I called and uh, the lead then said that I am busy now, call me later. So I have followed a couple of times and then the leads didn't pick up the phone. So as a result, what it happened, it happened that the lead just been wasted. Then time consuming in juggling between different platforms, most of the most of the institutions using different or multiple platforms. So using too many platforms can be time consuming and may cause delay and which can force the lead to step back or might change the decision. So overall, there are challenges that uh, can be faced if you're using multiple platforms. So we are trying to build something, uh, one platform with multiple features. So let's let's continue. So the problems that's also along with this, there are other problems that also associated institutions mostly use traditional system, traditional systems, legacy file uploads, then email communication, limited auto auto automation, and then outdated security protocols. This this more of like I'll give you an example. Like uh, while working in the finance institution, I I have seen that. Most of the documents are collected via email. That means it's been like a to and fro email from the lender to the applicant, and it continues. And also, the there is no specific uploading system from the from the from the from the uh, lender's dashboard. So the employee has to email or call that I want this document. Please, if you can send it. So either the applicant will be emailing or dropping it to the branch so it sometime uh, uploading or uh, submitting the document in a branch might take time and that can create delay the then also i have seen very limited automation in most of the institution even the top institute like rbc they do not have full automation very limited automation and the security protocols are mostly they are outdated. So overall, it happens like uh, it's, it's surprising in such a such a such an environment like when the fintech industry is growing so fast. Uh, most of the finance institutions they are stuck with traditional systems. Yeah, I, we can understand that that uh, for them changing overnight will cost a lot of money, and it it's like a tough time, tough situation for them to change all the system at one time. So it's more of like the traditional system is been an obstruction or slowing the process for the employees as well as for the applicants. So let's proceed. So for us, uh, for, that means from PortShack, we are trying to build one platform with multiple features, which means the platform will help in generating organic leads creating application, collecting documents, communication with leads, processing loan application. That's the solution for the problem that we discussed in previous slides. And CodeShine will deliver the same thing, the one platform with multiple feature, generate organic leads, creating application, collecting documents, and communication with leads. So these are the features that we are about to pre-launch uh, we are about to launch or release our application and then within a month we are also working on processing of loan application sending it to multiple institutions like for now we will have like a limited number of institutions in the in our system uh, i would say only a couple of institutions would be on the system but we are working on the loan processing application which would be added uh, in a month or so and then from there, we can add multiple institutions. So things would be very, very easy for uh, for someone who is working on code check. For example, I'll I'll give up. I'll give the process like 
a lead came in uh, and the lead is converted into loan application and the loan application is submitted to the code shack pool and from the code shack pool whatever documents would be needed or would be uh, sent notification to the applicant that means when an applicant is coming in the applicant is signing up when he's signing up when he or she is signing up the applicant is getting a dashboard so on the dashboard there would be features like uploading then tracking of loan application uh, then lo then loan application and then uh, etc so from there whenever any documents is required uh, code shack will just uh, intimate or notify the applicant the applicant can directly upload the document from their dashboard making things very easy and simple and on the same side the lenders uh, will have their own dashboard and when some uh, when an applicant is uploading a document it will be uh, it will be instantly uh, been available in lenders dashboard uh, so the lender can download it and can check the documents instantly also in the pool when the application is coming inside the pool the uh, the code shack pool will collect the documents will verify it and then will send it to the dashboard of the lender creating uh, a, a report of risk metrics helping the institution to decide on the loan application instantly whether they're gonna they approve or decline so let's go to the next slide so now the question comes how code shack will generate lead code shack doesn't believe in paid campaign and we will loan will never do paid marketing campaign so we are working on different campaigns like we are creating workshops uh, financial workshops uh, in different with different non-profit organizations and with different bodies then we're creating events in uh, through meetup uh, financial events like uh, workshop on mortgage workshop on stocks and bonds workshop on different financial topics so that we can make our to the people about finance as well as we can let them know that we as a uh, fintech a startup launching code shack which can be helpful for them if they are looking for any kind of loans or mortgages then online community you're also working with different online community from there also we are helping the, those community and also we are letting them know we as a code shack can help you in getting in uh, finding you a, a loan with good rate also uh, uh, matching with the best institution uh, with your financial metrics then also university finance club we are attached with university finance club from also from there also we can derive applications and also we have a very good youtube channel we are working on it from there also we can generate applications so totally we are focused on generating organic leads organic applic or, or leads uh, sorry loan applications organically but we will not focus on doing any kind of paid marketing campaign so let's proceed to the next slide and then the alpha testing we we have three different users we have admin admins the code shack then the lenders and then the loaning loany is the applicant so it's it's more of like loany will fill out an application form with about uh, 10 to 15 questions code shack uh, model or code shack ai will analyze what other documents is needed to process the application and uh, it will notify the applicant or the loanee to go to upload those documents from their dashboard the code shack uh, will analyze will process will verify and then will generate a report to the lender uh, declaring about the risk metrics for that loan application so once that process is done then there would be a pre-approval for the uh for the applicant and it will go to the lender pool and from lender pool to the uh, dashboard of the lenders so let's proceed to the next slide so we're we are using aws uh, what data would be 
securely transferred, then AI integrations are coming up and it would be very fast and very reliable. And so now we have, we are open for any kind, any, any uh, of your questions or whatever or questions you have, you can just put it on our comment section. We are open to answer any kind of questions or any kind of doubts anybody has had. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful rest of your week. See you again in our next episode.